we're going to look at rough endoplasmic reticulum, which are the bound ribosomes, which synthesize proteins that are going to be sequestered from cytoplasm in lysosomes or similar organelles, that are going to be secreted from the cell, or that are actually going to end up as membrane proteins embedded in cellular membranes. In eukaryotic cells, bound ribosomes are attached to membranes of the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or RER, which is actually continuous with the outer membrane of the nuclear envelope. The RER is typically situated in cells near the nucleus on the one hand and near Golgi vesicles on the other. The RER can assume a variety of shapes, like the whorled form at the upper left in this slide. The TEM at the upper right shows a nucleus surrounded by lots of RER, and the lower electron micrograph shows RER in the vicinity of Golgi vesicles. The association of RER with Golgi vesicles is related to the fact that the proteins synthesized and packaged in the rough endoplasmic reticulum usually travel to the Golgi vesicles for further processing before they reach their final destination. This slide shows a TEM image of isolated vesicles from a cell fractionation. Because the vesicles are studded with particles that are about the same dimensions as ribosomes, it's reasonable to suspect them of being RER vesicles. If they are, then you should be able to predict some activities of such an isolate. Specifically, these uh, structures in the test tube should be able to synthesize radioactive proteins using radioactive amino acids. They should contain proteins found in Golgi vesicles, lysosomes, or perhaps cellular secretions, but not proteins found in the cytoplasm or associated with other organelles, like mitochondria or chloroplasts or nuclei. In fact, isolates like these meet these criteria and are clearly RER.